Hello everyone, welcome to another session with me. I am Sayukta Saxena, Certified Zentangle Teacher and today's session is on Tangle Evoke, another Zentangle original. A tangle very similar to what uh, some of the tangles we have already learnt like a simpler version of Mocha or Fescue. So uh, when I draw as we learn how to draw the tangle you will find it quite familiar to some of the tangles we have already learnt and you can easily you know morph these tangles move on from one to the another just because they look pretty similar and it's just about a different arrangement of the same patterns yeah so let's get started and understand how to draw the pattern evoke so evoke is a pattern where the basic shape involved is the fescue yeah so i'm going to play with this fescue shape that we have already learned yeah so i'm going to arrange it in a certain fashion so I started with one fescue and then I'm going to build one more and then add one more. Add as many as I want to. Yeah. And then go with another layer like this. So somewhat crossing each other. You may may not cross them. Yeah. And then I'm going to add an aura. close aura to this fescue shape from the inside yeah moving on to the other side yeah so that's the basic pattern evoke. Small little things that we can do is to add some weight at these corners and at these turns where which we generally do in case of SQs or in case of mukas also. Yeah, A small little weight here and there. And then you can always fill up the inside with any pattern of your choice. Again, the space provides you enough opportunity to play around. I'll also show you a few tiles. Yeah, so you can just fill up the spaces inside with any tangle of your choice. Tipples comes easy and tipples looks nice also. So I'm just filling it up with the pattern tipple. So that's the basic of the pattern evoke, right? So now this is uh, how it is suggested to be drawn. But again, you can always play around and open it up more. Or you can curl it up more. Yeah. Or you may not curl it up at all. So they can be like this. And they may not cross each other, which is the version that probably we'll draw today. Yeah. So don't forget to aura it and then add these, uh, you know, weights at the corners. And then you have a choice to fill it up the way you want. Yeah. Generally, the inside is shaded. So I would add some shade in the inner section so that something looks like being enclosed inside my evoke right as if it is enclosing something so not much space here but if you are drawing a bigger one then you will have spaces to you know shade the inner tangle and the evoke will kind of enclose the inner tangle yeah so that's how shading is done on evoke yeah so let us see a few tiles and you will get a better picture of how the tangle can be used right so this is the general arrangement and this is the teaser that I had posted yeah so this is a seed shape and you can see I am not crossing those fescues here so inside is mocha and some you know well well so this is a use of evoke again evoke in a circle this is center is evoke again you can see it's a different kind of an arrangement i have arranged it in a circle 
again this is evoke you can see how they are arranged they are crossing each other here right and a few more tangles to go along just a touch of color again there are so many options evoke here also so you can see I've used the tangle tipple here inside with some genius nice and other tangles flux so this space can be filled up in any way it's again evoke on both sides so the tangle is uh, designed in such a way it looks like it is enclosing something and you can play around with that characteristic of this tangle yeah so let us draw another tile today so I'm going to start with a heart kind of shape right so let us draw a heart with a pencil just for reference so probably two hearts so I'm just going to add one and then probably one more hidden yeah two hearts like this and let's first introduce the pattern evoke so I'm not going to cross I'm just going to surround the heart with my evoke yeah so even opus or tangles like uh, a simpler version of mocha they are all similar looking it's just about a different arrangement and you can create so many different tiles using this version yeah so go slow and just surround your heart with evoke yeah so I'm going to do this for this one also this heart Yeah. So now that we have done that exercise, now I'm going to closely or right, just the way I showed you. So this orang is very much an integral part of the original pattern. So generally we aura to enhance however this aura is a part of the pattern evoke the pattern is not complete unless you aura it yeah so close aura nothing else is what I am doing here yeah we will do the same here also Yeah, and then probably we can aura them together before we start with the inside. So I'm working on a regular square tile here with my O1 yeah so we are done with this exercise now moving on to the inside so what I want to do here is add the pattern Bronx chair yeah so I'm going to start drawing these Ops inside 
leaving small gaps now since it's already inking involved so I'm not going to the corners for rounding because it will automatically get the ink from the Bronx shears yeah so just take your time simple pattern to draw an orb fill it in but don't be perfect leave some gap yeah So I'm done with Bronx Cheer in one of the hearts and the second one let's draw some random lines and draw the pattern in Zeppel or crazy in Zeppel what we call. Yeah. So in case you are new to the pattern you can watch me carefully but I've also released a video in the pattern so you can always refer to that. Yeah. So I have drawn some random lines inside and now I am going to start auraing or retracing the line from inside. But not go up to the corner, in fact round the corner. Yeah. So I am retracing or auraing each section from the inside but rounding the corner not going up to the corners. So that's the basic of the pattern in Zippel. technique based angle we do this retracing exercise in many of our tiles once we are done with drawing but this is a tangle which uses this technique so small little spaces so take it easy go slow just retrace the section created by these lines like this yeah so now that we are done with the exercise now let us move on further so let us now add one more aura but I am not you know I am drawing a kind of a shaky line not very particular about how the line is turning out to be and then going to add these sections to give it a coffered kind of a look another enhancement yeah simple exercise but adds to the look of the tangle yeah and then I'm going to add another aura Yeah, and then we'll add one more aura and we'll see what do we want to add inside. So broadly taking you from the last, but again, not exactly. So it is up to you what do you want to add here, right? So think of any pattern of your choice. Let us go with gnome so this is again a pattern we have already learned so I'm going to be drawing these S shapes flowing from one to the other right so just in case you are new to these patterns please refer to my video feel free you can learn those patterns however I'm going slow and drawing again in front of you so you can learn here also that's okay but since 
I have already released videos on these patterns. It would be a good idea to watch it. So drawing these S shapes and the last one yeah simple and then I'm going to draw this reverse as kind of a shape and add two cones at the ends yeah so connecting these two lines and then adding this cone or conical shape or triangular shape or weight whatever you want to call it yeah simple exercise so do that throughout yeah so i'm done with that exercise and now we are going to draw these curves starting from 3 4th going up to the 3 4th of this s yeah these two are to be connected here to here here to here like this so basically the upper part of the S is to be connected with each other to form this leaf kind of a shape Yeah, so spaces are small, take it easy, go slow, just connect the S's together with this curved line. Yeah, and the same exercise on the other side. So again forming this leaf kind of shape at the bottom so the tangle is no ripas and it's a very simple tangle to draw very elementary strokes but looks beautiful Yeah. Almost there. Yeah. So now again add one more line of aura and fill in the small little spaces that are left in between your aura and your gnome. Yeah, so I'll fill in the small little spaces a little later. Let's just now add one more layer of aura. So simple tile to draw, just adding auras and then filling it in. Yeah, again one more line. Again, one more line. Yeah, now let us move on to the next layer of aura. So I'm going to go with simple version of crescent moon. So 
so I am skipping the auras here and just drawing two moons on two sides yeah So I'll go on like this, simple pattern, simple tangliation, yeah, and also fill in the small little spaces left in between the noon and the aura. Yeah, so give me a little time. I am now inking the lower section completed with my crescent moon tangulation yeah? and inking the lower section of my noon wherever there are small little spaces just ink it in so that your noon is prominent enough. So almost finishing with that exercise and then there are one or two more layers of aura which we can use to tangle. So let us move on to them then. Yeah. So now let us move on to the next layer of aura. So I am going to... Uh, Let's see, just add orbs probably or add mukas. Whatever you are comfortable with, that's fine. You can add simple orbs, anything. Yeah, so just add what comes easily to you. Fill in the small little spaces left here and there. Yeah. So tiny little spaces but make that effort to fill it in. Right, so let us do this for the others also. Flux. Some orbs. Fill in the tiny spaces. Yeah, so I'll do that for the other two also, and the rest we can add simple orbs. Like these. Again, keeping it simple. Yeah, so let me do this for the other two also. Mukas, or you can call the pattern elegant, whatever you wish to. Yeah. 
Yeah. So we are finished with our tangling. Let us now move on to shading. Yeah. So first, there is not much that you can do in this part. So we will shade the inside of the other heart which does not have bronchiers. The end apples are pretty small so I would not like to get into shading the end apple. So better to shade just the inside as a whole. Yeah. So don't add too much. You don't want the entire heart go grey. Yes. <laughs> so a little touch and then just soften slowly just soften the graphite yeah that's about it I think we don't need to do anything else now adding a thin outer aura and the other side another aura So don't uh, add too much, keep the line thin because you don't want too much greys here, you want the whites to show. Yeah. So on both sides of the line a little bit. then let us blend first so I'm just going to smudge just a little bit sides of the line make sure you don't blend too much you want the whites visible also yeah and then touch on the edges yeah that's about it now let us move on to our gnome so gnome is pretty small here so I'm just going to add a soft line in between and blend it to just add a touch of shade there. Yeah, not going to do much to my gnome. Just adding a touch of grey. And then again both sides of the crescent moon tangliation. Just 
So just with the light hand blend very little. side the same exercise Again blending the other side, don't blend too much, yeah, a little on the mukas. a touch on the orbs. So done that exercise for all four sides and we are now going to pick up our chalk pencil and add some highlight on the bronze chair in the center, brush off the extra, blend it, add some highlight in between. your moons like we generally do for all borders just blend it a little so that it is evened out a little highlight on the mochas probably not much touch on the orbs yeah yeah I think we are done that's our tile for today evoke with some more tangles to go along a touch of coffering just redoing the Coffered line yeah, that's about it I'm now going to put my chop here and close my tile So this is the tangle pattern evoke and I'll be coming up with another new tangle in next session. Till then have a good time, stay safe, bye bye.